Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the fifth episode of the Remnant Tutorial Series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up the replicated sprinting. And this is the what we're going to do right before we import our ALS V4 animations and begin setting up the movement and idle there. So within the next couple of episodes, we will have our idle, our idle additive, our locomotion, and our sprinting. And I created a couple of directional sprinting animations. I'll show you how to make those. They're pretty easy to do. And you can do it all within the engine itself. Um, so in this episode, we're just going to be setting up the sprinting. And so it's replicated. So without further ado, we will get into that. I'm just going to move this project. Yes. Open up this one. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to our character blueprint. And uh, while we're in here, we're actually going to first I'm just going to find references of the jump. I'm really just going to delete the jump. Because Remnant doesn't have jump. And I believe that's all of them. Quickly open up the animation blueprint. Pretty sure I removed everything in here for it, but go to our event graph. Yeah, everything is already removed, so that's the jumping completely gone. Okay, so now that we have our character open, we want to Create a, create a variable, we'll call this B sprinting. That'll be a boolean. And we want to go to our replication graph. And in here, we're going to go server, or we're going to go custom event. We're going to call this server sprint. Custom event. We're going to call this multicast multi sprint. And we're just going to take our sprint variable, set that. right here like this and plug this in like that and then we're going to call the multicast sprint and we're going to plug that into the server so whatever the server is will be sent to the to all the other clients And we're also going to need to replicate our movement speed. And it's going to be slightly different. So we're going to custom event. Server underscore. Update. Speed. And another custom event. This one's going to be client. Update. Speed. And we'll set this to run on owning client and this will basically allow us, this will allow us to um, not only replicate the sprinting, but it'll fix jit some jittering issues that you get 
when you're setting the, the movement speed between different clients. So you so it gets the server and sets it on each on the on the client itself. So you want to get your character movement, get max move walk speed. And you want to set that. And we're just going to plug that in like this. And then we're going to call the the client that walk or walks client update speed. Sorry. Before we put this in, we're going to set the movement speed on the server. Keep on movement walk speed. Set max walk speed. So whatever's input into this function when we create the server update speed. So whatever's in whatever's plugged into here will be sent to the will be set on the server. And then that will be set on the client. So there's this is our walk speed. Uh, everything is replicated and it's reliable. So that should be all we need for our sprinting replication. And now we want to go back to our input graph. And we, first we're going to create an input in our project settings for sprinting. It's a good idea to put them in here rather than just creating the input in here by just clicking. For example, you could just go shift, left shift, boom, you have your input. But if you were to set up a main menu, it's a lot easier to get the options from within here in your mapping. I'm just going to put this sprint and it's going to be my left shift. this sprint your action event for sprint and we're going to give it server sprint when it's pressed we're going to set it to true and that's going to send it to the client as well and then we're going to want to update our speed so server update speed And our sprinting speed, I'm just going to set the 600 for now. And when it's released, we'll have to disable this and set our default value back. Um, I'm just going to put this in the movement. Make a new one called movement. And I'm also going to put the crouch button down. I'm going to rename that to B crouch. It's not replicated yet, but we will be replicating that in very soon in the future. So now we have our sprinting replication. Our speeds should be being set. each player <laughs> yeah there should be no animations but there should be a speed difference let's see that on the server uh, now that we have that done it's gonna quickly check something in my character movement on my test Um, making sure everything over here is set up properly.
Okay. Um, now we have our sprinting done. We will want to create a couple of new variables called walk speed and run speed. And these are going to be floats. And we want to go to our event graph. And on begin play, we'll just move this over here. And collapse it actually, collapse nodes. I'm just going to put spawn weapons. And we can put a space here to get rid of that execution name. And our outputs, we want to continue on so we can go beyond it. So we'll put all of our outputs in here. So when it goes through here, it will continue on. It will create this and we can just continue on. Um, okay, so we want, on um, begin play, we want to set movement server update speed. We're just going to set our speed on when it begins play to walk, whatever our walk speed value is. This will be our default walk speed, basically. So whatever you set this to, it will set that as our default speed value when we play the game and our run speed will be 600. So that when, in our character now we can set our walk and run speed right here. And it will set the walk speed to the character movement. Uh, we're just going to put walk speed in here. And run speed in here. I'll save, double check if it's still working properly. Yep. Okay, so now we have the speed set up. We want to open up our animation blueprint. And from here, we want to search for sprinting. We'll get sprinting. Hold that to a variable. Should I already name it to sprinting for you? that there for now. So now it's sending the sprinting variable to our um, animation blueprint. I want to go to our animation graph, um, locomotion, and right here we want to Right click and add a new state, and we will call this state sprint. And we're going to drag up and then drag back down to create two of these. We're simply just going to put sprint in here, so we'll check if we're sprinting, we will move into it. And then move out of here, we will check if we're not sprinting. So we're going to not bool. So basically, if we're not sprinting, it will come out of sprint, and we are, it will sprint. And I don't think we, oh, maybe we do. Just going to set this here just to show that it's working. In the next video, I'm actually going to set up the proper blend space like I was showing at the beginning of the video for the and import ALS animations, but for now we're just going to show that it's working. And let's grab the client. And we have sprinting. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't 
forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorials video tutorial video uploads if you have any questions suggestions or comments you can feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my discord server in the link in the description thank you and i'll see you all in the next episode